On this episode, we visit the unique Irish ice cream pub, Daddy O'Brien's, coming up on George Eat Explore and More. What's up, guys? DJ. Okay, yeah, no, I won't say that. Okay, we won't say that. They know who we are. Okay. What's up, guys? We're here at Daddy O'Brien's Ice Cream. No, Irish Ice Cream. <laughs> Let's do it together, man. <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? We're here at Daddy O'Brien's Irish Ice Cream Pub and Sandwich Shop. They are 2016's winner of the Flavor of the Year Award. Let's go inside and see if they're really that good. How long have you been in business? How long? Four years? Yeah, just about four years. Um, we started out small and simple, just trying to feel out, see how things were going. Mm -hmm. We really got serious about two years ago. So how did you start? Well, we started out with carts because we own another company that does events and so we bought carts and started uh, adding that to our options of catering. And then we started doing festivals and food truck nights. Becoming more and more popular and it was like... Well, the line was like, you know, 50 people deep we and we were the most popular thing yeah. there. And everybody's eyes were rolling in the back of their head <laughs> saying, oh my God, where's your store? Yeah. So we looked at each other one day and said, I think we may need to open a store. What made you guys want to choose this type of cuisine, Irish ice cream? Well, I'm 100% Irish. And I always, in the back of my mind, wanted to have a pub you know, where people can come and from the neighborhood just kind of hang out and relax and have a good time and talk and just enjoy themselves. And so when we decided on, on a location, it was like, oh, Irish, maybe do a little Irish ice cream pub. Kind of unique, nobody's ever done that before. Um, and this is what we came up with this summer. Very, we did a lot of research on, on pubs, Irish pubs, and so this is kind of like our brainchild of what it really should be like. So, so what is your most popular item on the menu? Well, um, I think on the ice cream side, the flight is the most popular. Uh, it's so, it, because it's a beer paddle with uh, sampler um, glasses on it, and so if you can't decide what you want, you can get four different samples. And they're pretty good sized samples. They're five ounce cups. Yeah, so, so you get a good amount of ice cream. Yeah, so that's our probably our most popular in the ice cream, and then in our sandwiches, I would say the Reuben is the most popular since that's the Irish sandwich. Um, and then uh, we do our, our shepherd's pie is very popular, and and among us our soups, I would say the Guinness Irish stew is yeah. the most popular. So what's your personal favorite dish? Both of you guys can Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, I like the Irish stew. Um, it's it's a really unique recipe that we put together. And my favorite is the Bailey's Irish pistachio ice cream. It's a recipe that we found from Dingle, Ireland. And we tweaked it a little bit, made it our own, and it ended up winning third place in the Flavor of the Year competition at the National Ice Cream Retailers Association. It's a great flavor. It's full of fresh pistachios. It's delicious. Yeah. I see you guys won a lot of awards, so, you know. Yeah, yeah somebody, we're up, up to well, 10 already. Nice, <laughs> nice. nice. And for somebody who's only been here for four years, you guys are getting it. You guys yeah. Are it, so. yeah. That is awesome. Um, so, what dish would you recommend? What dish would we recommend? 
Oh, definitely the shepherd's pie. And if you're adventurous, we have the chicken and waffles, which is really, really good also. It's a southern thing. Southern thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. So Irish and southern. Uh -huh. I mix that together. Oh. And we make all of our batters fresh. So if you want a waffle, our waffle is better than anybody's waffle. It's full of sugar and I can't tell you all the secret ingredients. <laughs> we make it fresh, not full of sugar. Did I say that? Yeah. Full of butter. Full of butter. Uh, and uh, some secret ingredients, but we make all the batters fresh of our crepes and our waffles. And, um, we make fresh waffle cones every day. I'm sure you smell it in the air as soon as you walk in. Um, all of our soups are made fresh in the morning. Um, we even have um, pofferjis, which are little, uh, mini Dutch pancakes, which is no one around here has those. Oh, wow. So it's uh, another part of a European type of uh, cuisine. Sounds delicious. Yeah, we make that batter fresh too. Oh, we're good. Making everything fresh, that's good. That's good. And our ice cream is all made fresh on site. And nice. all the recipes come out of his head. <laughs> Even the ice cream. Yes, yeah. the that ice is cream is made right here. Yeah. Wow. We make everything here. And of course, we are famous for the alcohol infused ice cream. Mm -hmm. And it's not infused, that's a it's a word that we can't figure out what to use because it's not infused. Infused means like injected, and that's not what our ice cream is. Our um, alcohol in, is an ingredient in the ice cream, and it's in the so as recipe. We, as we make the ice cream, we add it just like we do vanilla and everything else, that, you know, it's part of that recipe. How would you describe the food served here? Semi-Irish <laughs> awesome. awesome. Semi Irish cuisine, but not all Irish. Right. Um, great, uh, great sandwiches, unique bread. Our bread comes straight from a, a baker. It's a European baker. So our bread is very fresh. unique and fresh, yeah. right, right out of the oven. I go to the bakery every week. Pick it up. Right out of the oven. Um, so, um, and of course, our, everyone comes for the ice cream. But we get a lot of compliments on the fact that you can't find homemade soup anywhere. We make homemade soup. Yeah, all the soup is homemade. And people are like, also say, you know, everybody talks about they can't find a good shepherd's pie anywhere. So we're another place. Mm -hmm. um, and what unique thing too with it, the Europeans tell us that come in here is our rum raisin is exactly like European rum raisin. You can't get this kind of rum raisin in the United States, yeah. but here it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> what makes Daddy O'Brien's stand out from any other restaurant that happens to serve the same thing you guys serve? Um, well, it's, everything's homemade, so it's all fresh, and uh, we make everything on site here. So that's something. A lot, a lot of them uh, either make it off site or they use somebody else's ice cream mm -hmm. and call it their own. Mm -hmm. um, all our recipes are original. Um, and the alcohol makes it. And the alcohol is unique. I don't, there's not too many people around. There's a there's, lot of people trying. They're, yeah, they're trying. Um, not copycats, but um, I don't think anybody does it the way we do it. What was Daddy O'Brien's proudest moment? Probably last year when we won the um, National Ice Cream Retail Association Flavor of the Year. We won first place in our Butterbeer Ice Cream. That was probably, you know, cemented the fact that we could hang out with the big boys. And, I mean, these people come from all over the country in this convention, and there's dozens and dozens and dozens of samples, and um, we won first place. And so that was, and that was only our third, yeah, third, third year going. Time going. So uh, that was pretty special. Awesome. Do you have anything you guys want to add? Just sure. Time to well, you know, every day my proudest moment is when someone comes in and says, I wish there was a Daddy O'Brien's in my city or my state. So we're very proud to announce that we are franchising. Awesome. We, if, and we didn't have that in mind to do, but there are so many people lined up who want to have one in their state that uh, we're going to franchise. And we have another secret announcement to make. We just won Best of Planet. Wow, nice. Congratulations. And that has not been released yet. So um, by next week, I think everyone yeah. in town will know that we won Best of Planet for ice cream. Nice.
Congratulations. Yes, congrats. That is awesome. Yeah. Wow. So on Georgia Eat Explore More, we have a rubric, as you know. Um, we go based off appearance, how does the food look, and um, so does, does it you know, look creative and all that. Um, we go based off of taste, uh, and that's the scale from one to five. Um, what has the texture of the food, uh, what's the flavor like, and uh, different things like that. With ice, uh, with ice cream, you know, that's, that's what we quite eat. Um, we also go by uh, value. Uh, you can get your bank for your buck. Um, you know, what you're paying for is it, is it worth that? Um, and also, we go based off of the overall impression of the food and a restaurant. We have a staff of one to five on that as well. And uh, that's our rubric. Okay. Right here, we have the New England clam chowder. It's authentic New England clam chowder. We're going to dig in and try it and see what it tastes like. It smells delicious. And it's hot. Mm -hmm. That is different. I like that. This definitely doesn't taste canned. Oh no, <laughs> it's not. Mm -hmm. Really creamy. I like how the clam's not too chewy. It's got a lot of clams. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I like um, the kind of like sweet flavor that, that's coming with it. Um, cherry. Mm -hmm. Very unique uh, taste. Um, mm -hmm. And, and it seems like, you know, the flavors are pretty well balanced. Um, is that potato? Yep. Okay. I've never had clam chowder. I've only had Campbell's clam chowder. That's... <laughs> oh, and I think I had clam chowder at school. That's even worse. Oh, it's oh. Yes. Ooh, really good. That might taste even better. <laughs> No, guys, I usually don't like clam chowder. This is actually really good. Okay, what's this? Reuben. Reuben. Okay. Glory just gave us um, a Reuben. Comes with a side of chips. It looks good. It smells good. Really good pickle, too. And a nice pickle. Pickle's mine. <laughs> Summer says the pickle is hers. <laughs> so she says. <laughs> it's really good. What kind of cheese is on here? Swiss. Swiss, okay. Um, nice toasted bread. The meat is hot and fresh, like the Swiss cheese. So it's just meat and cheese. No, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, okay. I thought that was sauerkraut. Dressing. Mm -hmm. There's a sauce on there. Mm -hmm. Love the bread. That's the European bread. The European bread. Fresh from the bacon. Mm -hmm. oh. My first time having a Ruga too. Right. Goes great with the clam chowder. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm gonna still have this pickle. <laughs> okay. What is this? 
pretzel with beer pretzel cheese? Pretzel with beer cheese. Pretzel with beer cheese. Oh, I can definitely smell the beer in that. <laughs> it's really good. Let's put that in the center. It's a nice looking pretzel. Nice smelling cheese. You go first. Ladies first. <laughs> it was nice and hot. Yeah, I think you're going to like the pretzel. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. That cheese is delicious. It pairs well with the pretzel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good because I've had some before and it just didn't taste that good. And now for the main event. So here's the main event. We have an ice cream flight. We have Bailey's Irish Pistachio. Bailey, so I, I'm pretty sure you can guess what that's going to taste like. Uh, strawberry and cream. Cafe Suave. And we have Butterfinger. And in all, this is 20 ounces of ice cream. It's good to share, so me and Summer, we're going to try to chow down. We can even uh, get Lori a chow down if she wants to. <laughs> well, my favorite is the Pistachio. <laughs> We're going to dig into this Bailey's Pistachio. Oh, buddy. <laughs> That is delicious. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. 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 Strawberry and cream now. So now it's got a little bit of that. Definitely taste the fresh strawberries in there. Award winner. What year? Oh, that one, um, let's see, 2015, it won a blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. Yeah, which is the highest, the highest ribbon you can win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a 34 out of 35 points. Okay. That's, That's what ready. I read about, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the only one in the competition that got a perfect 10 for flavor. Mm -hmm. You guys got bragging rights. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. This is, that, this is, as we call the Cafe Suave. The Suave. Cafe Suave. Yeah, I was thinking you were saying it. Yeah, it's <laughs> <said> Suave. <laughs> it's good, no matter how you pronounce it. <laughs> Cafe Suave. I'm going to get a um, bite of that. That's pretty good. Thank you. I know, it's coffee. That's what I taste. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. It's not like an overpowering coffee mm -hmm. taste yeah. or an overpowering alcohol. <laughs> right. It's right there down the middle. Butter finger. We do a almond joy, which we call almond brothers. Mm -hmm. We do a Snickers, which we call Snickery. Mm -hmm. And we do butter finger. Mm -hmm. That one's good too. Mm -hmm. I like the ribbon of chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. So do you get a lot of people that come in for um, that challenge? I know I saw that as yeah, well. Yeah, the mother look. Yes. Has anybody won that challenge? Oh yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, we have a, a wall of fame over um, on the wall there. You can get a picture of it. It's the, it's a it's right behind that little refrigerator that's up on the counter. Mm -hmm. All right, right behind it, there's a T-shirt hanging on the wall, and there's photographs of everyone who has succeeded in the mother love challenge. Mm -hmm. Now. To succeed in the challenge is to eat the whole thing in less than 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So everyone who has done that is on the wall. Mm -hmm. But we record their time. So we always have a reigning champion. So if you beat everyone else's time prior to yours, to you, you don't have to pay for it. It's free. Nice. So you win the challenge. Mm -hmm. So our lowest time right now 
is three minutes and nine seconds. Wow. Great. That's <laughs> that's insane. Oh, man. It would be a bad idea if I just smoked this. Yeah, out. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> No more Cafe Suave. <laughs> the strawberry cream some love. The Bluebell winning strawberry cream. Blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. I think the Cafe Suave is getting to me already. Did you finish that? Yep. Can you finish this? I won't finish it. <laughs> you finished two already. I have a problem nursing things. Okay, so as far as appearance for the food, um, between the Reuben, the uh, clam chowder and the uh, ice cream. Um, I'm going to give it a five, especially the flight. Um, you know, it's, it's a very creative idea to have four different sample sizes of ice cream uh, for, you know, to share and, uh, you know, for friends and family and, uh, you know, so that way you can find out what, what's your favorite ice cream. Uh, so definitely a five on the appearance for the ice cream, five on the appearance for the, uh, for the clam chowder and everything else, and the, and the beer cheese uh, pretzel. Um, everything looked pretty good, so five on appearance. And for me, I'd also give a five on the appearance. Um, everything looked good. The sandwich looked nice and uh, toasted, and uh, the pretzel looked very um, yummy, and the cheese sauce and the ice cream as well. As far as taste, I'm going to give everything a five. Um, all the flavors, you know, they seem to you know mesh pretty well. It wasn't something over empowering of it, especially with the uh, you know kind of the alcoholic uh, ice cream. Um, the alcohol wasn't too strong, so that way you don't you know feel guilty getting in your car and driving after you had you know some ice cream. So it's good. And as far as the clam chowder, <laughs> as far as the clam chowder, um, I definitely want to focus on that because. Um, I personally, I'm, I'm not a big fan of clam chowder, so I've, I've actually stepped out of my comfort zone and had their clam chowder. If, if you're not a fan of, fan of clam chowder, or if you've never had it, at least try it here. You may become a, a believer. Or, you know, you may like clam chowder. Definitely give that a five. All the food is a five. <clears throat> Same for me on taste. I give it a five. Um, everything looked good. It was a lot of first for me. It's a lot of... Um, the first for the clam chowder, it's very delicious, nice creamy uh, flavor. The clams tasted good and it was seasoned well. And the Reuben, it was my first time having a Reuben as well and it, it was really good. Um, the, the sauce on it was flavorful, um, it was very, it was nice and toasted and it just uh, married well together. And the ice creams as well, they had really great flavors. Like. Um, he said the alcohol wasn't too overpowering in the two that we had that had alcohol in them. And um, they were nice, creamy ice creams. As far as value, I'm giving it all a five because everything, we just looked at the menu real quick, everything is under 10 bucks. You know, to get all of this under 10 bucks and to, you know, to be full, we're actually pretty full. Um, it's it's pretty good, especially you know again with the flight, you're getting four different ice creams, and that's under uh, nine dollars. Of course, uh, an extra fifty cents if you get an alcoholic ice cream. So um, definitely a fine for value. Same, same as well for a value. I give it a five. It's good prices. You, um, it's filling. Um, it's good value for the quality, the fresh ingredients that you're getting. And overall impression, I'm giving everything a five. The food tastes well. I can definitely taste, especially like with the beer cheese and the, you know, with the pretzel dip. Um, it tastes fresh. I can, like, as soon as it came here, I smelled the, um, the beer coming from it. Um, the clam chowder, definitely, I'm giving it a five. Yeah, you know, it all looks good. It all tastes good. Um, the overall impression of the ice cream. I think they have a good concept as far as having four different ice creams. I can't stress that enough. So that's all pretty good. And the overall impression of the restaurant, you know, it seems like a good hangout spot. You know, Lori said that, uh, you know, the employees, they're mostly teenagers, and they even 
when they're not working, they like hanging out over here. So, you know, we have those sitcoms where, you know, everybody have their favorite hangout spot. This is definitely uh, a good hangout spot. You know, think of a place like, uh, you know, How I Met Your Mother. You know, it seemed like a good hangout spot. So, I, you know, I love it here. The decor is great. And, you know, they take really good care of their restaurants. So, five for overall impression. An overall impression for me, definitely a five as well. The staff is very friendly, it's clean, um, the food is wonderful, um, and like he said, it's a great place to come bring your family. Alright guys, that was Daddy O'Brien's Irish Ice Cream Pub and Sandwich Shop. Um, definitely come here. They're going to treat you well, they're going to feed you well. Um, That's enough how much you're going to love this place. Bring your kids. Um, you know, the kids love the ice cream. You know, just come here, have a good time. You're going to love it. All right, guys, that was Daddy O'Brien's Irish Ice Cream Pub and Sandwich Shop. The food was delicious. The place was unique. You're going to love it. Um, and this is what you're going to look at as far as price. Uh, $9.95 for the uh, ice cream flight. Um, platter and that's you know the one with the four different ice cream flavors um, and add on an extra um, 50 cents per uh, ice cream that have uh, alcohol, alcohol in it so we got two different uh, um, ice creams with uh, alcohol in it so that was an extra dollar for us um, and it's uh, add on another $9.95 for the Reuben um, and $5 for the clam chowder and we didn't see a price for the um, pretzel with the beer cheese. So when you go there, be sure to ask for that. But um, we highly recommend all those. Uh, total uh, before taxes is $25.90. Again, you're going to love it. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment. Tell us where you want us to go to next. Um, check out our merch. And like, share. And uh, we'll see you next time. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.